that we're going to search for where we save them into. For instance, let's see, I've saved them into desktop tutorial. And this is page 1 and 2, page 3 and 4, page 5 and 6, and page 7 and 8. So I'll come to Photoshop now. I will close this particular one. Then I will move all of them to into Photoshop once. I'm going to I'm going to arrange them now. I will move them into Photoshop once. Make sure they are all on the timeline. They are all on the timeline. You can see this is page six and five. I mean page five and six, page seven and eight, page one and two, page three and four. Then the next thing we're going to be doing is a practical something. Yes. It's a practical something that we're going to be doing, which is the next thing we're going to do. The next thing we're going to be doing is that we are going to look for paper. There are how many papers, how many pages do we have here? This and this will be on one page. Why this and this will be on one page? But that is not the final arrangement. Yes, you got me right. That is not the final arrangement. So we are going to look for paper. Since we, uh, since we have, uh, how many paper do we have here? This is, will be on the front. This will be on the back. Be on the front this will be on the back so we have we just need two papers here so you are going to look for two papers then like like just like this it's a simple something anyway you cut them like this then you are going to number them accordingly this is number one page one number two for page two number three page three page page four inner and page five page six page seven is here and why page eight will be at the at the back yes so this is how we're going to do the arrangement now so we'll bring it like this you discover when you place it like this okay let's start from the arrangement of page one and page one now listen now as you can see page one and eight is on one page that means one will be at this side why eight will be at this side so you go to we are going to go to the particular we are going to go to the particular one that has one and eight we're going to go to the particular one that has one and eight we have one here we have eight here so let's go to page one first so this is page one you're on page one now then i'm going to hide this one are you seeing it now i'm going to hide this one then i'll move this one to the right are you seeing it now then i'll go to page eight i'll i'll move it into one are you seeing it now i'll move it into one like this this thing is not properly done because it's a it's, it's a tutorial so i'm just rushing it but if it is a job i will come down to do it so now page one and eight is on the same page now like you can see from here it is one and eight here and when you look up it is also what one and eight here i hope you are following it yes just be following it sequentially so we have one and eight now the next thing you're going to do is to save it you press your control shift and s and uh, control shift x to save then you name it as what one and it you hit okay are you seeing it now so we turn inside now and see we have page two and seven page two and seven remember page two is already here you are going to hide that for one uh, for eight hide that for one and uh on hide that for two you move the two you move the two to this side then you look for that of where there's seven you move seven you move seven from that place to into page one. We have one here. You move it here. So it is now page page seven and page two and seven. It is now what page two and seven. And if you look at it here, it tallies with what we have already done here. It's page one and two. Then the next thing is that we are going to save again. Control Shift S. Then it will come. Then you page two and what seven. Page two and seven. You save. We save. Then you repeat the same process. Now we are going to go to page. You carry the second leaf now. It is going to be five and five and four will be on one page. Why six and three will be on another page. So five and four is the center. So we are going to leave it. So since five and four is the center of the page, it is already five and four is the center of the page. So you this is we have five is supposed to be at the right, why four is at the at the left. So now we are going to hide that for six and move five to the right. Then we'll go and look for where there is four. We move four into page five and six. Then we'll drop four here. Yes, I hope you are following. We drop four here. Now it is it has been arranged. If 
can see from our book here is what four and five. Then we are done with this one because we are done with uh, no, we are not done with this one. Then we will control S and save. We will rename it as what four and five. You save. I see it now. So now the next thing is that the last one is going to be three and six. Three is on the right. Why? Four and six is on the left. This is page. Three will be here. Why page? Six will be here. Then we are going to move it. We are going to move it now. So let's look for where there is three. Look at three here. Like we know, three is going to be here. So we hide for four. Then we'll move three here. We'll move three here. Then we'll go and look for page six. We look for where there is six. Where can we find six? Five, six is supposed to be here. As we have already hide. We will hide it. Then you move it to where there is three. Move it to where there is three. And you leave it like this. We have page six and three. Then you save. Then you save page three and six. You save it. And you save. So this is how to do the arrangement. This is how to do the arrangement in, uh, I mean, this is how to do the numbering and the arrangement in book work in Photoshop. If you save them as JPEG now, you can go and print and it will be arranged. And you can fold it without even having an issue. So please, if you like this tutorial, I will, so please, if you like this tutorial, please, if you like this tutorial, I will suggest you like and subscribe to this channel to get more amazing content. Thank you.